This is our precious world. It's a place where colors speak volumes. And this is what NASA satellites see when updating the health of every ecosystem on Earth every eight days. When more CO2 shifts the colors from brown to yellow and then to green, the ecosystem is healing. More CO2 helps ecosystems in many ways. Crops for people and forage for wildlife see fewer killer frosts. Grasslands retain more moisture, making them wildfire resistant. Forests expand outward into higher elevations, making ecosystems safer, more resilient, and healthier. But Olivia, does CO2 visibly green the Earth? Don't take my word for it, Gramps. Let's look at the past 25 years of photos from NASA satellites. Alaska. Northern Canada. Rocky Mountains. South America. Andes Mountains. Europe. Russia. China. India. African deserts. I don't get it. I was told that CO2 was bad. I'm sorry, Gramps, but the lie gets even worse. CO2, Earth's oxygen of life, helps all different types of ecosystems, even ecosystems in the seas, all life in the seas. Yes, even corals depend on CO2. Algae, marine plants that provide coral their color, are a plant type that is much healthier at higher levels of CO2. One reason why the Great Barrier Reef is at record high health. And if we embrace net zero and decarbonization policies, this is difficult to watch, Gramps, but this models what will happen to the beauty of Earth based on how much Earth has greened with the rise in CO2 and what happens when that is stopped and reversed. Oh, Olivia, please tell me that's not going to happen. It's up to the people, Gramps. If they ask basic questions, become informed, and stand up against those naively browning Earth, only then will Earth keep greening. For more, look at youtube.com slash at climateintel slash shorts.